It's been an interesting few days. Let's get clear. Hi everybody, my name is Brian here with Get Cleveland. Thank you for joining me. Um, I kind of wanted to touch base with you because I haven't made a video in a few days and let you know what's going on. Um, obviously the other day I had some issues with numbness and tingling in my tongue and in my right arm. So I did a telehealth appointment with my doctor. She told me to go to the ER because she thought it was a TIA, which is basically a mini stroke. Um, so I was scared to death. Uh, one emergency room, then uh, take it to another test, observation. Everything's fine. I don't have anything wrong with me. I mean, mentally, I'm a wreck. I'm just joking. But I'm okay. Uh, but I haven't been doing any videos in the last couple days. I'm resting here today. Probably be doing a ride-along in the next couple days or so. So I haven't uh, stopped putting content out there. Uh, my parody video was just kind of like a parody video last time. Just about... I don't know, kind of like in a cynical way about what they do with delivery drivers, but I really like what I do. I love the flexibility, the freedom, and I'm very thankful. And I, I think a lot of it too is that, you know, as gig workers, we have to take stock and relax and take time for ourselves because I work, I work 45, 50 hours a week, six days a week. And that's every, every week. I mean, I don't take time off. I mean, I'll take a day off here and there. But I'm constantly working. I think I have to remind myself to take some time off because I am a workaholic. I like to produce. And I think that's any person out there that is trying to strive for goals and trying to reach goals in their life. They're, they're always working. But sometimes you got to take a step back and, you know, take stock, relax, smell the flowers, drink the beer, whatever you want to call it, whatever you do that helps you get through the day. So, yeah, nothing wrong with me. Um, basically, uh, had blood tests galore. Um, I was overnight observed at Metro downtown, which I'm not really a big fan of that area. But regardless, everything's okay. And finally, I was released today. So everything's good. Nothing to worry. Because that freaked me out. That really changed my attitude towards things because... Before, I was kind of like, yeah, whatever. I'll just keep working, blah, 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 blah. You just keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. And then after a while, and then something like this happens where, yeah, nothing happened. Yeah, everything's fine. You kind of take stock and like, okay, what if what if everything wasn't okay? What if I did have a STRO, KE? What if I had a, um, a stroke? Yeah, that's a serious disability. And that was very concerning to me that that was a possibility, even though it never happened, but... I think it made me wake up a little bit to the fact that, you know, tomorrow's not guaranteed. We're, we're all here for a short period of time. And, um, yeah, I get angry at stuff, and I don't think it really even matters anymore. I think what matters at the end of the day is the family you have, uh, the people around you that treat you well. You keep those in your circle. And the ones who don't, then you can let them go because they weren't meant to be. So... My message to all the people that, that work out there and that watch this channel, take some time for yourself. You know, relax, enjoy life. Do this as a goal to get to somewhere. Don't do it just because you want to do it for the rest of your life. I don't want to do it for the rest of my life, but I love doing it <laughs> for the time being because of the freedom. And whenever I go into something else, it'll probably be the same way. And because I had a nurse talk to me like, well, why do you do that full time? Isn't that... You know, you don't have anybody to answer to. You don't have a boss. Isn't that give you anxiety? It's, just, <laughs> it's one of the best feelings in the world. Because I don't have to worry about, you know, my boss saying, Hey, why aren't you work today? Hey, uh, what, are you going to use your sick time? Okay, well, are you still coming in? I don't have to worry about all that. And <clears throat> when I first started out doing this, I worked my ass off to build... Um, a reserve to be able to protect me in case something like this did happen. But that's why you have insurance. That's why you have disability insurance. That's why you have income protection. That's why you pay out through the ass for it if you're a self-employed uh, 
person, delivery driver slash whatever you are, gig worker, gig whatever you are. That's why you do it. That's why you pay those premiums. Um, so I just kind of gave me pause for a second. Take a step back. Let's get this under control. Um, they just start eating healthier. Uh, that's that's a big weakness of mine right now. And, you know, because it's just... The, the thing is, is that... It's just hard to explain. It just feels like as you age, time goes by even quicker. See, when you were a kid, you couldn't wait to grow up. You couldn't wait to get to be 18 so you could drive your car. You could go away from your parents be your own person. And then when you reach your 20s and 30s and you've done all that, you bought your house, you got married, you had kids, you got divorced, got married again. It, it's like time seems to go quicker when you're older. And I think that's part of the issue with me is like I feel time going quicker. So it feels overwhelming what I have to do in my life. But I think just tackling it one step at a time, focusing on something that you can control is the most important thing. And that's anybody. Because I hear a lot of gig tubers talk about anxiety. And I think I've suffered from that too. But I think the biggest thing you can do is do what you're supposed to do. Do the best you can. See, I, I'm a Christian. God's always going to provide. Um, you know, it's not always going to be easy. There's going to be good times. There's going to be bad times. There's going to be times in between. And I think this is more of a philosophical discussion than anything, uh, than anything pertinent to gig work, obviously. Um, I think we all have a purpose in this, this world. And I'm still trying to reinvent myself and rebirth myself with that because... I've reinvented myself many times, and I think I'll continue to do that. And see, it's not too late for you to do that either, by the way. They, they tell you, oh, when you're 40 or when you're 30, it's all over. No, it's not. Okay? Whoever tells you that, they're full of crap. Okay? Don't listen to those thoughts. And number one, don't believe all the things you hear on the internet. Because here's the deal. God created you for a reason. He created you for a purpose. And you might not know what that purpose is, but he's got it all laid out for you, and it's going to come to fruition. But you're not going to see it because you're not God. So you have to realize that, because we always want to go on our schedule, on our schedule, on our schedule. God or the higher power, whatever you believe in, is telling you different. And I think that we all need to realize that God or Mother Nature, whatever, is a very powerful force that will bring you to stop if they need to and the reason why evil people hate us that are good is because we have so much power as human beings human beings have an unlimited amount of power we are amazing creatures and they always tell us that oh we're nothing or oh transhumanism here we're going to merge with machines and humans are useless no I don't believe that I think humans need to take back their power and believe that they are somebody special that they believe they are powerful because all of us together all of us individually are little gods we put that together we can defeat any force that is evil in the world so i'll be coming out with some more videos in the next couple days but my name is brian with gig cleveland i appreciate and love all you take care and god bless